Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we huddle some Bitcoins even when we dip uh, in today's short TA video looking at the charts, what is happening, what could happen and three, three, three amazing charts um, that will show you the bigger picture as well guys. Coming from a rooftop somewhere here in Portugal in Lisbon, yes, um, let's quickly jump into the charts quickly one two three four this ain't yeah. easy darling cause the devil's on my trail huh. i've been running so long that my feet don't work no more oh yeah i've been running so over here this is the first job um, the first chart, guys, this is a one-hour chart on TradingView. Um, I wanted to express that all what I say, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to find patterns, trying to see what is happening on the charts, and then I make my uh, own opinion. So if we had the local top over here, and we are seeing A, B, C correction down to this level, the yellow line, I will show you why the yellow line, then... I think that the next thing I will expect, I will show you as well. Why that yellow line, guys? I'm going to show you now the yellow line. Um, I need to switch to the four hour chart to show you better. I think the yellow line was that downward trend line that we came from. And then we had that crucial moment over here when we broke that yellow line. That crucial moment was again over here. We said if we break that line, we become bullish again. We went up. We retested it and then we went up. We are now again here at point C retesting that line. So I think that is a very important downward line that we need to keep as support over there and go up from here. Okay, so let's switch back to the one hour chart and show you what I think that could happen in the next couple of hours. Maybe we'll even uh, take a day guys. So for me, if this was the ABC correction and then we would get a Elliott impulse wave which would mean a one something like this a two correction like that a three above that level because three is a long one a four back to test that and a five um, to the top of that so that would be like uh, this is not, not going to be exactly the 26th of september but this is how normally the bitcoin chart moves and then from that moment again maybe i can make that one i like that one green and then from that moment again we could see um again the correction wave so a b c two test that support again and from there on um, we could then build again strongly to try to get a higher note to the 50k levels that is how Bitcoin could move against this is all like um, you know just analyzing the charts seeing and thinking for yourself what you think that could be moving and um, this is very difficult because you need to have a lot of experience that is why BAM we use the BAM BAM indicator because you can look into how to trade and analyze all these patterns or just have an indicator that tells you when to long or when to short so this four hour chart now well let's let's also check the one hour chart so that's more clear on the one hour chart for example um, the bam bam indicator gave that long flag that was telling you hey we are going to see you long we close the candle above the yellow stepping line that is a confirmation we cross that midline over there with the blue line that's a confirmation let's see and we had a green dot which is a confirmation and we had green over there there was still a little bit blue so that was the only negative indication that there still was a little bit blue but then there were still three positive indicators um, which could have made you take that trade and which would be now two percent if we reach the top of that bollinger band that would be a four percent trade that is why we use the bam bam indicator guys if you want to use that one then go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find all the information it works on any time frame it works on any asset available on aurochs and on trading view guys 
bam and if you want to trade on exchanges then please use these exchanges premix you get a twelve hundred dollar sign up bonus prime the t 50 percent bonus buy bit max three thousand six hundred dollar at the moment you can also use uh, of course binance here you will find the oracs platform that is that one and this one will soon come into play the machina trader platform but we are still building on that one now i hope that was all clear so you can trade and do all the ta yourself or you can use indicators or you can just buy and huddle and dollar cost average and um, let's look into some more interesting charts to show you in this short video what is happening bam over here this is the first one um this is glass note chart guys and this is the plan b um stock to flow model you know that one so normally we are moving around that gray line at the moment there is a huge distance the gray price line the average line is around 108,000 US dollar we are at 48,000 US dollar that was like yesterday now we are at 41,000 US dollar so we are even further away from that gray line and that is something that you can see in this chart in this chart you can see if I put my head somewhere else you can see um, that number that number that we are away from the line this is what they call the stock to flow stock to flow deflection and that number you can see here down you can see that the levels we are now at here this green level is like a really low level wait I will show you like this the dotted line this was a very low level we didn't see this level even in 2011 not in 2017 nowhere we have never been that far away from the price model line the average line now we came up a little bit so now we are here so now we are at the same level if we look very 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 right now we are at the same level as all about here this one so I will draw it we are now about this level over there you see now we are about that level over there and that was in the mid of the bull run so are we again in the mid of the bull run or are we now going back down that is what this chart is showing you really cool if i look to take a look at this chart over here and um, then we can see that the bitcoin 12 multiple is telling us that we still need to go up why is that one telling us that um just check this was the low over there nah, let's draw low over there a little bit higher and a little bit higher so we are creating um, higher lows we are creating higher highs as well and that is exactly what we saw in the 2017 bull run as well low all the way higher lows and yes all the way higher highs and the highest high should end somewhere in this pinkish area so we should be going up like that that is what this model is telling us guys now that was everything for today because bam i have a very busy day i need to go to the embassy a passport shit all that stuff but i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you enjoyed this short ta update then please give the view a ta thumbs up ta thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts what do you think about the bam bam indicator and again go to the bitcoinfamily.com if you want to have more information i want to thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again bam